it's adamant that you go out tonight? <laughs> I'm married to someone who is so clever. They say things like, I don't know why they're so adamant that I go out tonight. There he goes. <laughs> I'll be here. Goodbye. There are some benefits to living downtown. Thomas, you need to go take a shower, honey, now. Not in five minutes. Hello. I mean, I'm sort of on time. Amos was not behaving. He wanted me to um, lay in the bed with him. Oh, shit, shoot. It's like the, I live in a tomb. How are y'all? It's Saturday. Hi, Kristen. Francis. Francis is here. Um, hey, Mariana and Kate and Christy. Oh, y'all have your wine like me. You know, I love y'all because I hadn't had dinner yet. I have a burrito from, hey, Cody, from Car Burrito. See my shirt? Um, which is in Carborough. When I came back last night from Burlington, I stopped there. Hey, Elizabeth, Sarah. Oh, so fun. Susan, happy Saturday. I know. Even though I like Fridays better. Though I do adore a Saturday when you don't have to go anywhere. You have pop popcorn. Darn. So, you know, I'm married to somebody that claims he doesn't like these live videos. So tonight I said, well, I'm doing a video. And he goes, well, you need to prepare more. <laughs> he doesn't even have a Facebook account. Why is he telling me what to do? I said, what do you mean? This wine is good. My parents, you know, didn't have wine at their house, but they did bring it all to me here. Sauvignon Blanc. I didn't know I liked that, but I kind of do. Um, you need to prepare more. I said, why? He goes, because the last one I was listening, and you said this a whole bunch. And, um, and, um, do I say and, um, a bunch? Um, no, I might. I don't mean to, though. I just don't feel like I have to talk the whole time. Because I like to hear what y'all have to say. Cameron just wolfed in her supper. I mean, I have a burrito and I have chipotle salsa. And Dateline is coming on. I mean, that is a good night for me. I mean, we've got Amos to bed. Blair is spending the night down the street with a friend. Thomas, you have not moved. Seriously. Making people take showers are things that are real. Why is that? Why is that hard? Hi, Debbie. It shouldn't be, or should it? The Ingalls family, Saturday night baths. That's sort of like our mantra. Blair didn't get one because she's not here. She was in the water today. It's cold. What does your hat say? Ooh, it says Chaza Brothers. Um, out of, I think they're out of Raleigh. It, they have make hot sauce. It's real good. I'm going to put it on my um, burrito live PD at nine. What's PD? Thomas? So this cold weather, I mean, do y'all love it? I think it's so awesome. My son doesn't, just stands under the water with no soap. Yes, that police department, live police department. I've never heard of that. What channel is it on? Cody wants to know how I listen to 1950s and 60s songs. Cody, I listen to whatever I like on the radio. And it just depends. Maybe because I'm getting older. You know, I'm 43 and a half. Yes, well, no, he usually does take a shower, but he's like in a coma. Thomas, if I come in there, I'm turning off whatever you're doing. Nothing. I'm not doing nothing. Anything. No? Yes. I'm just talking to myself, pretending I'm doing a live video. No? 
Yes. Three hours long? Is it really three hours long? Oh. What? I knew you were. <laughs> but you came and looked. I made you look, you dirty crook. <laughs> Get your arse upstairs and wash your hair and floss and put that stuff on your chin. I'm weird. You're, like those weird looking dogs. You're genetically me. Oh, that's Francis. <laughs> Thomas, you love Francis. Oh, Francis is, is your friend. Um, so let's see what else. Okay, so in deodorant, Wendy said. Um, oh my gosh, I get my cast off on Monday. Can we just talk about that for a minute? Cody knows every song from the 50s. I believe you. Follows police departments in several states. Ooh, I might never be able to not watch that. Um, no, this cold weather. So, I mean, I've realized I'm like invigorated that it's not hot as hell. I cleaned out the coat closet. And I realize everybody does this, but so the pantry, the coat closet, these are areas that look terrible at my house. And I'm the one that messes them up. But then I'm always real proud when I get it clean. I make everybody in, come see it. Does it smell bad? No. No, it sort of does. Look at this coat I found in the coat closet. I just like people to see it. Can you see? Look. CB. CB. Did anybody else have a CB coat? <laughs> oh my God, if I got that thing on, I'd never get it off. It'd look real tight looking. It's not cold. Oh my gosh, it's in the 50s, I think. I um don't have the heat on yet, because you know I don't turn the heat on until November 1st. That's the rule around here. Then everybody's freezing. Mm. No, I don't have a members only jacket, but I did find my Swatch watch recently. But I I got to get a battery for it. I think I could get back into a Swatch. Never heard of CB? I don't know what it stands for. Let's see if it says it. Nope, doesn't say. CB was like the kind of like it like members only, but um in ski apparel. Can't believe y'all haven't heard of CB. <laughs> It's like guest jeans and a coat. 61 here. No heat until Thanksgiving. Oh my gosh, Susan, I would freeze. No, that's too much. I want a swatch. I think they still sell them, don't they? I don't know. Um, I got up this morning. Well, I saw y'all. Some of y'all. I did a video for everybody. And, you know, whenever I get away from my family, I'm able to, like, think and do more research because I'm not inundated with coats and putting people to bed and Francis. Um, I still wear mine. Oh, my husband has a full-on one-piece CB ski suit. It real tight, too. Not a good look. Turn my heat on tonight? Oh, I'm not doing that. Um, so today I wrote the story about, look, y'all are like, oh, we don't care. I know, Francis. I wrote the story about our Center for Safer Schools. And I'll tell y'all, it's something I've been really working on for a while. You know, I went to a Center for Safer Schools meeting several weeks ago. And I hadn't written anything about it. But I've been sort of mulling it over in my head. I was born in 69. And um, it's, it's not depressing. It's so shocking, though, how bad politics and education are mixed up together in North Carolina. And I don't know if other states are like this. And it wasn't always like this here. I think our last superintendent, I didn't realize how much she did until she was replaced. Um, I think she was really trying to keep out for-profit charter schools. Um, anyway, it's a mess. So the head of, the, of this Safer Schools group, and I don't think I'd say this on a regular video, her husband is the chief justice. So, of course, my husband is like, oh, God, I'm going to lose my bar license. No, he's not. I hope he doesn't. Um, but it is crooked as hell. She has no experience. She was a teacher for a few years. 
And when I asked her, like, why do you, why are you in this role? It's a pretty big job. She said, well, after Newtown, Connecticut, I just really had a heart for safety. What if I had a heart for orthopedics? It doesn't mean you can be in charge. So anyway, so I've been making calls and talking to lots of people, people that used to work at DPI, people that do work at DPI, people whose names I would never, ever divulge, even if I were waterboarded. And um, it's worse than I could have imagined. I think hearing from two people that she used the word retarded in a meeting and she was corrected and then used it again. So then she goes to HR, Kim Martin, and they're, you know, because she's been written up and she just leaves the meeting, they say. And when I said that, she said to me, well, what would I do with the $5 million? I couldn't make that up. I think I might need to do a post on like, what could you do with $5 million if you're in a school system? Can you imagine? To build that app. And the app is free. So you don't need $5 million for the app, right? Um, the R word should disqualify her. I know, and that's the weird thing. She, and what, I mean, I think probably four people have said she's untouchable. And I don't know if it's because her husband is Chief Justice of the North Carolina Supreme Court, but she is being protected. Um, how do the rest of us complain about this? Cameron, you know, I have several ideas. I think one is to call your representative of your area, your senator. Reps are easier to get into contact with. Um, I would talk to your superintendent about it. I think that's important. I think emailing Mark Johnson or calling him, though, you know, he's got that. If you go to DPI and try to find Mark Johnson's number, it's not on there. Mm -mm. Nor is it on... Um, when you go to find something about him on DPI's website, it goes to his website, his private website, www.northcarolinasuperintendent.com. Is there a phone number on that website? Nope. I mean, I like how to dig and dig and dig to find the number. And then the woman that answered the phone, I was very nice, but I was like, you know, somebody might want to point out that it might be good for him to have a phone number. Cody said, I've been called the R word. I'm sorry, Cody. I really am. That's never a word ever that should be spoken. And when the head of Center for Safer Schools, which is really anti-bullying, uses that word, it's a problem. And I think it's important that we get the word out and ask questions. Um, because if enough people ask questions, I don't think she can stay in there. Maybe she can. But I would like it to make it very difficult. Um, Mark Johnson is her, you need to post the number. Oh, I will do that. Mark Johnson in July had the legislature put her, she used to be under operations for DPI. And now the Center for Safer Schools is directly under the superintendent. So before she maybe had some people that weren't Mark that could have kept up with what she was doing. Not anymore. Move the whole division. Sneaky, huh? I mean, what if you had a really shitty teacher and the principal was like, this teacher is bad. And then somebody came in and said, well, the teacher no longer actually reports to you. She reports to me. That's what's happening. Um, in Sandy Hook Promise, this app, I think North Carolina doesn't want it for a couple reasons. One, it's gun control. But who cares? Just because you use the app doesn't mean you have to proselytize gun control. And two... I think Kim Martin wants to say that she created a command center in North Carolina, like that's an accomplishment for her. And I don't know if she'll run, honestly. But when I talked to her at that meeting, it, it was like she had had a, she didn't have a clue. Your husband will not lose his license, but he will be put in a difficult situation if you continue. Well, I hope that he won't only because if he were, talk about a story, right? And his law partner's dad was Speaker of the House. And they, in Gatesville, a small town, I think in Raleigh, yes, it would be nearly impossible. Mm. When do you lost sound? I'm still talking. I'll turn my sound up. I don't know if that makes a difference. 
got this new phone. Boy, I really like it. Um, yeah, I don't want to make life difficult for him, and so maybe that's why I hadn't written it, but I'm not going to sit and be quiet either. And anyway, you can't lose your bar license. I mean, I think even John Edwards got his back. And then this one guy in Edenton was a lawyer, and he was, like, trading. Instead of people paying him, he was, like, making them give him sexual favors. Hmm. He's got his law license. So I can't imagine what that my husband is like, the squeakiest, cleanest person ever. We both are very truthful and honest. It's just I say things that are more inflammatory than he does. Um, so anyway... I think only the General Assembly could say, you know what, no, or if Mark Johnson got pushed. Because what it's going to do is it's going to make Mark Johnson, he's going to either have to say, yes, you're right, this is a problem. Or he's going to have to stand by her, and then he's going to look even dumber. I mean, isn't that weird? It's a rock and a hard place. And I told that to, I spoke to two senators, and I was like, you know what, you're going to go down with the ship. Because the ship is eventually going to sink. And if it doesn't, I'll drown trying. Um, Dan Forrest running for governor, I mean, he is going to wish I had never lived. Something happens to me. It's like a Dateline episode. Look at politicians. They got me. Um, but anyway, I mean, I'm just, I'm not going to have it. I don't want to live in a state where things work like that. It's just wrong. It is wrong. So anyway, I'm going to keep up on that and make some calls. I did it on a Saturday because I thought the post, that'd be kind of interesting for people to be able to mull over it for the weekend and not really be able to do anything or they have to use their personal time to call one another. My dad always says the best thing to do if you want to make somebody nervous is you call them at 10 at night and you say, I really need to talk to you about something. Would you have time tomorrow morning at 8? And then they say, well, what do you want to talk about? And you say, no, no uh, we'll talk about it tomorrow. He said, and then they stay up all night just worried sick. <laughs> oh, I love that idea. Um, and on Monday, the innovative schools get picked up, an um, innovative school district. They're choosing the schools. And I hate that, too. I mean, I think schools need help, and there are some that need help. But I don't think paying, if you your school gets taken as an innovative school, um, a for-profit company is paid $100,000 a year to manage it. And then, I know you did not take a shower. Did you wash it? Did you brush your teeth? this? Yeah. That's my battery charger. Why is it so heavy? Well, because it has 70 hours. They're oh, announcing them on Monday who they're going to, um, let me feel your hair. I haven't brushed it yet. Smells like that trash shampoo. Smells like feet. Don't oh, use my I, good shampoo. <laughs> I don't know where it is. Good, I hide my shampoo. It's in the office above the These people, the toilet, these right there. people. Heaven forbid they use their CBS shampoo. They it's have so like bad. Aveda sniffers. Well, it's mine. It's too expensive for you. <laughs> On Monday, they're going to make the recommendations to the state board. Um, and then November, I think, 7th, they'll vote on it. I need to see if that state board meeting is open on Monday. I hadn't thought about that. That would be good. I'm gonna, I'll check when I get off with y'all. Um, Cody and I are in a race for baseball caps. I know, Cody. Am I winning or are you winning? Um, but anyway, I just, when I talked to that principal, talked to two principals about, and they're just heartbroken. You know, they're just doing their best, and the schools are really, like, shaping up. And it's like, is this really the way to do it? To pay a for-profit company 100000 to come in and do that? Why wouldn't we, like my school, Michelle White is our principal, my children's middle school, and she made our school went from a D to a B in a year. Um, why not look at her school and be like, you know what? Let's see what they're doing. How'd they do that? 
I mean, it just defies logic. Like if you're a crappy parent, right? Social services says, well, here, we're going to help you be a better parent. They just don't say, well, you see your kids in five years, but you're going to pay us a ton and we're going to do better. And then we'll talk about maybe you getting them back. I mean, it's just silly. And all it does is create rifts in families in the school district and the superintendent. I mean, it feels like you're going to the chopping block. And they spent, do you know how much they're spending in 2018? 85000 on marketing. Marketing. Do you know what that means? There's no real marketing because they're not trying to recruit anybody to sign up. They go in and just, you know, pick you if they think you're crappy. Marketing is like a way to brainwash people into thinking that it's wonderful. You know how much I'm spending on marketing? None. But I'm spending an inordinate amount of time telling people that it's shitty. Kate keeps loosing me. <laughs> I don't know why. What marketing? Exactly. Just like putting out press releases of like how wonderful it is and how much people like it. Cody said if I wanted more caps, go to the public works department. Cody, guess who left a... Guess what I got today? I have to wash it, though. A U.S. Postal Service hat. Real excited about that. I mean, like, could not be more excited. Lori Knapp, my hairdresser, she got it for me. Yes, she did, because she loves me. Um, cutting up in Edenton. She does such a good job, too. And she's real funny and smart and a good advocate. Um... So, let's see. This must be what my husband's talking about when I don't have a plan of what I'm going to talk about. This week, I have to get ready for a women's conference next Saturday. I'll be in Ashboro the next week, if anybody wants to know. Um, either that Tuesday or Thursday. If you already bought tickets, it's being rescheduled whenever I can get a babysitter. Which I need to check. Probably that Thursday. And what else? Not really much else. Halloween's coming. It's exciting. We usually have people over here for pizza before we trick or treat. We live like right downtown. We can throw a tennis ball at the drugstore. And so we get lots of trick or treaters, which is really fun. I mean, it really is fun. We sit on the porch and it's a great way to actually see people. I could almost skip the whole trick-or-treating thing altogether. Not like Amos is like Mr. Trick-or-Treater. Um, though he is a fan of candy and chocolate. Okay, question and answers. Anybody have any questions? Wish there wasn't a delay. And if y'all have a night that works better, tell me, or a time. Like somebody said, please make it Thursday. I am going somewhere Monday and Tuesday. So not this week, Susan, but the next week. Thursday's better for you? Okay, we'll do that. I'll tell her Thursday just for you. See, it's a benefit to being in this group. My kids just want to give out candy. Ooh, that's good. My children are too much gluttons. They want their own candy. Oh, no, Francis. Francis doesn't scare people in my house because... People are used to me being sneaky, I guess. Um, okay, Susan, I'll make that, I'll do the email right when I get off of this before I eat my burrito. Um, I'm so glad y'all are here. I just would like to say that. I really appreciate your support. I realize you can go on Facebook and do stuff all day long for free. Um, so I'm just really thankful you're here. The idea of starting a YouTube channel and getting a thousand followers just makes me, you're staying in a yurt. Ooh, I'd like to do that. Makes me tired. So I think this is um, a good thing for me. We're up to 217 supporters. I hate that name. I told Facebook that. There were, it's in the queue, they said. Um, and I'd like to, my goal is. Well, my next goal is 400. And then really, I think in about in a year, I can maybe have 2,000. Anyway, that's my goal. And then I could like, not have to run around like a 
chicken so much. Patrons. I was thinking like, I don't know, supporters, subscribers. Um, I'm not good at titles. You know, Christy, I say that. No need for thanks. You are fighting the good fight. No, thank y'all, really. Yeah, I don't get paid for doing research. I don't get paid for calling and harassing people. I don't get paid for risking my husband's bar license. But it's important to me. Um, it's really important. Yeah, subscriber. I think, Christy, that makes sense, too. Or, like, exclusive membership or, I don't know, something. Um, but it matters to me. And not just in North Carolina. I, my takeaway, or I hope that fam people walk away and say, you know what, I can make a difference. Whether it's with a school or um, whether it's insiders. Ooh, I like that. Members. Y'all are full of advice and good suggestions. Um, or whether it's with your pediatrician. I was putting Amos to bed tonight. And I was thinking he's about to be five. So I don't, but I don't know where we're going. Last year for his birthday, what we did was we um, rented the trolley. Like we have a trolley that takes people on tours. And I, you know, you get those Dairy Queen like free ice cream things on the bags. Well, I mean, clearly we eat at Dairy Queen too often. And so I took all my like 40 certificates. <laughs> so tacky. And we, all Amos's friends came over and we rode to Dairy Queen and had ice cream. And then we came back on the trolley. So I think we might do that again because he loves the trolley. But then I think we're going to have like a birthday party. Um, I think what we'll do is, well, we live beside a parking lot. And when he was two, we had kind of a parking lot party and we had toys. And I might get a jumpy castle, jumpy house. And then, so the party starts at four, feed people a hot dog at five. Then we can go on the trolley and then they come back and leave. Because, you know, that's the goal when you have a party. Or maybe have it in, maybe have it for lunch would be fun. But at night, then people feel like they can drink wine. That doll. It's not a she, it's a he. Francis. <laughs> Francis, my gimp arm. <clears throat> Francis, you come over here. People can look at you. Francis, Francis, you've lost your hat. Your hair looks bad. There. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, Jody. Francis doesn't mind. Francis will forgive you. <laughs> Francis isn't scary. Francis has on tights. I didn't know dolls came with tights. I wonder how old Francis is. Francis, Francis isn't plastic. I don't know what Francis is. I think he was made before plastic. Jody, do you want Francis to come visit you? Um, oh, I got the nicest message today from Beth in Pender County. It said they have gotten more stuff sent. And she was like, I just cannot thank your followers enough. And she's exactly right. Um, it's not like I mailed all the stuff. I didn't mail her anything yet. I was going to mail those darn um, costumes. And the post office closes at noon on Saturday. Anyway, um, can't complain about them, though, since I got my new hat. But she just was, anyway, you could really tell it was, like, a big deal. And the Halloween costumes, like, more high school students have been commenting on that post that go to that school. And that just makes, like, makes me so happy. Because they're seeing, like, when you do something good... You can spread the word and do more good. I just I just think what a great like lesson for our kids to learn. Right? Anyway, it makes me really happy. Um anything else? Actions. Yes, actions. Um, yeah, and it'll help families. Putting mine in the mail Monday. You and I both. We have a um I told Blair, I was like, fine, dig out the Halloween costumes. I don't know if anybody's going to like ours. We have a piece of pizza. Yes, a pizza costume. We have an astronaut, though Amos might wear that. We have a colonial boy costume. We have a Civil War costume. 
that might be like Russell was dying to be a soldier. You know, you get it at where we have like Fort Macon, they have a gift shop. And my mother bought him the whole like ensemble. And Russell never wore costumes when he was really little. You know, he's kind of quirky. He, like when he was four, wore a, or three, wore a pumpkin sweater. He never is dressed up for book character day. Like it, he said, it makes him sick. But now they'll kind of dress up. Hey, Russell. Russell? What? what were you last year for Halloween? I don't know. A ghost? Oh, he was a ghost. What are you going to be this year? I don't know. Maybe a ghost again. A ghost again? Maybe. Sort of dull. Thomas, what are you going to be? For what? For Halloween. Uh -huh. Y'all haven't even thought about it? You could be a train conductor. Boring. Amos would like it. All right, well, he can be Russell, you could be the caboose and Amos could be the train. <laughs> Y'all could be tele. No, Russell, you said you were going to be a mailbox. I won't. It's not worth it. I'll help you build the costume. No. Why? You'll get a lot more candy. You're going to go to the store and buy yourself candy? Yeah. Instead of trick-or-treating? Awesome. That's dumb. You could get it for free, Amos, the conductor. Y'all could be Teletubbies, all of you. <laughs> I don't look like a Teletubby. Mm. Yeah, he said a mailbox where you do a cardboard box and we could do a slot put the candy into a bag. I forgot he said that. Kind of creative. Um, last year, Amos was a goldfish. I think we had a good hand-me-down costume, which is where we mainly get. Mine are 14 and 12 by our own. Yes. Oh, I mean, they really want to buy all that mess. Um, I need to ask you something, Ada. Remember the navy blue single T-strap shoes with the buckle? You know, Cody, I cannot read your message while I'm talking to this, so I'm going to have to answer it later. T-strap shoes with the buckle. Were they Amos's tennis shoes? They're made by Naturino. I love those tennis shoes. They're Velcro, and they're cute, and they're real flexible. Those darn bright Nikes. Oh, I like cute voice clothes. Though currently Amos isn't wearing shoes, except his tennis shoes and his natives, like church shoes. He says, no! I just can't worry with things like that anymore. My children used to look so cute. I mean, they looked good. Because I wasn't blogging. I was spending time making people look good. I do like to look back at the pictures and think, oh, it was smooth leather. Oh, I don't know where those shoes Cody came from. I think they came from the clearance bin. They were like all $5 from some kid's store that went out of business. They were cute, though, but I don't know where they came from. Um, on Friday, is anybody in Richmond? I'm going to go to Richmond. This is like secret exclusive. You will not hear me say this to the public because it could ruin my chances. St. Christopher School, it's a boys' school, pre-K through 12th in Richmond. It's real fancy. And they have this sale every year. Christy's close. Okay, Christy. Well, it's from 12 to 4, so I'm going to get up take a shower. It's kind of a big deal. Drive to Richmond and go to the eat lunch at the deli and then go to the school. So they have, it's like a yard sale. They have a big clothing shop of like gently used clothes. Oh my gosh. Can you give it to me? Do you have it? I'll pay you for them. Cody, if I have them, I'll send them to you, but I don't think I do. I think I passed them on to somebody. You've been to it, Christy? Isn't it good? That's where I get all my um, Christmas presents and Amos's birthday presents with that thing. Our train table came from there. See it? It's like 30 bucks with the trains. Um, but the clothes are big. Like ties and navy blazers and pants for Russell. Anyway, it is like worth it and gas to go up there. All the clothes are $7. St. Christopher's. And don't go telling anybody. It's a secret. It's the one Amos wore when he was wearing Billy Burley's outfit. And they went to St. Christopher's. Um...
and then they have a book sale. So what I did two years ago, I didn't do it last year. Well, Mary Scott rode with me, which was fun. And we I had each teacher tell me what books they wanted. And then they um, gave me like titles and I gave them each a box of books. The hardback books are only a dollar. And they everybody wants Harry Potter, you know, good books. So anyway, what time? I think it's from 12 to four. I'll, we'll talk about it later this week. One night we'll do a video. Um, so anyway, it is awesome. But t two years ago I went, and you can't go in until like the time, and there are people waiting, right? And so I'm standing there, and I'm like, oh, look, it, you know, it looks busy. And this girl said to me beside me, oh, well, I hope that woman from North Carolina doesn't come. She comes every year and just buys up stuff. And I said, oh, that is terrible. <laughs> but then now that I'm blogging, I don't, I'm not under the radar as much. But I mean, it's a sale. Who says I can't buy three Patagonia coats? I may send my son and his girlfriend. Yes, yeah, so one area they have that I never get to because I'm so busy. Well, now I used to be in the toys first. Now I'm in the clothes. And if you really want to know a secret, sometimes I go early and I hide some toys like in a tent. No pride. Not a lick. Do you ever come to the Midwest? No, but I might like to. Where is the Midwest? I have cousins that live in um, St. Louis. St. Louis. Is that Midwest? Um, so anyway, that's my big excitement. But I've got to find somebody to go with me. I'm trying to get Mary Scott to go. I tried to get my teacher friends to go, but they don't want to... Um, if you gave it to somebody else, do you remember who? No, Katie, Cody, I do not. If they're gone, you just have to kiss them goodbye. They're gone forever. Will you post if you find out the meeting Monday is public? Yes, I will. Ooh, Candace, you look while we're talking. I want to be your date at the sale. Oh, I mean, I don't talk to people, Christy. This is serious business. Like, I can't, I don't go chit-chat. I'm there filling up my Suburban. Now, I'll give you a hug and say, hey, but I ain't there to talk. I mean, it's work. I mean, it's like nerve wracking to me. I'm like, oh crap. They have those needlepoint belts. I mean, those suckers are like $180. Hmm. But you come on and meet me there. Hmm. You come right on and meet me. I do the book. Yes, I'm on a mission. It is, it's like getting, it's the best yard sale of the year. You know, yard sales, I mean, you gotta work. It makes me nervous. <laughs> it really is so nerve-wracking. And my friend Lisa Burley. Okay, Cody, if I have them, I'll let you know. Lisa Burley from Richmond, like, it's, it just embarrasses her to pieces because I go and I've got this big pile of stuff. I've got strollers. I mean, not that kind of stuff anymore. Bikes. One year they sold this huge, one of those big basketball goals. But, I mean, where would you put it? But now I'm like, oh, gosh, now that I have these big kids, like, it'd be so fun. I don't mind having things like that in my house. Where is the sale? I'm just getting on. It's in Richmond at St. Christopher's School. Clothes, toys, books, and home items, furniture. Uh, I mean, draperies. What else? Rugs. I'm having serious FOMO. Richmond. Um... And then you could go to lunch. Last year, I think it was at 8 o'clock because we went to lunch after and then left. But I think it's later this year. I'm going to real early. Want me to send you some stuff she never wore? Maybe, but you know Blair wears total crap. She does. They don't have any girl stuff for the sale because, you know, it's a boys' school. I mean, they might have some girl toys, but... Um, I wasn't shopping when I went. I was supporting a friend. Oh, that was nice. I'm shopping. But then after I shop, then I can chit-chat and like leisurely look around to see if I didn't have kids. Oh, that would have been fun. Um, and then I have to be in Ashboro. Susan wants me to come that Thursday, so I'll try to do the Thursday instead. Oh. Since it got canceled. What's the one in Rocky Mount, Sarah? 
I ate at Central when I was in Rocky Mount. I mean, it was so good. That's why it's all brand new, Kelly said. Because <laughs> your daughter wouldn't wear it either. Yeah, the don't send it. This is too fancy for her. It's too fancy for Blair. Um, Central Cafe, if you're ever in Rocky Mount, has the best cheeseburgers and hot dogs. And they have the real good ice. How is the sale in Rocky Mount? I've never heard of this sale in Rocky Mount. Found a pair of white Converse. Ooh, oh, yeah, and St. Christopher's has shoes, like church shoes. I've even got my husband some shirts there. He's not picky. Mm. One year I got in a fight with this old lady over some um, Legos. <laughs> she lied, though, and was like, they said I could come in early, and the girl later was like, we did not. But they just didn't know what to do with her. Turkey. Never worn because they were white. Oh, I love some white Converse. That's like the new thing now. I keep seeing all these little kids with them. Christy, are you laughing at me getting in the fight over the train? <laughs> I know. It's terrible. Oh, God. Anyway. Um, okay, I've got to eat. I'm hungry. I'll tell you what, this wine is real good. I feel like I should drink wine when I talk. Oh, Bullock's. Bullock's sale. Yes, yeah, so that is a big furniture sale. And what else? Um, chairs. I guess that's furniture. Pictures, vases. I mean, they got more crap there. Yes, yeah, so I went last year on opening day. I was going somewhere else, but I just wanted to stop in. Because you always see like a ton of people you know. Lamps. And I told... Um, Martha Kinchela, whose family owns Bullock. She's a supporter on here now. She's not here tonight, though. She, last year I said, ooh, you should let me come early and shop. Not that I need anything. And then I could do a live video from Bullock's. She might let me. I really don't need a darn thing, though. Maybe if we move, I would need some. What kind of Sauvignon Blanc? I have no idea. Some bottle my parents gave me. They don't spend a lot of money on wine, either. I mean, it's probably 10 bucks. I mean, it's more than $6, which is what I spend. But then the 16 is, like, to me, expensive. It's all relative, I guess. Um, I get so worked up at the Bullock sale. I know. Isn't it fun, though? I really like all their outdoor furniture. Oh, frick. So, last weekend, I had, um, you, Christy saying vodka, soda, and lime. Boys need walkie-talkies. Oh, I like those. They had vodka tonics or vodka soda and lime drinks in a can at that chef thing. Have you ever seen a vodka tonic in a can? I don't drink vodka tonics. But my husband was like, that's genius. Why haven't they done that um, before? Cody, does Amos wear long alls? Cody, Amos does wear some still one-piece fancy stuff for church. Or like Christmas. But um, not every day. Not that he's using the potty. But you know you can't get to your potty. He just wears shorts and t-shirts for school. And he's getting ready to start wearing corduroy pants. And turtlenecks. And sweaters. That's what he wears in the winter. I love corduroy pants. Thomas still wears them. Russell. He don't wear any corduroy pants. To real tight. Um... $16 is for celebrating negotiated real estate contracts. Yes, exactly. That, Susan, that is me to a mix. What is good to mix with vodka? Mountain Dew? It's a firefly. <laughs> um, yes, I like buy a fancy bottle of wine like that when I'm like, oh, this is like a big deal. But then I like, don't want to drink it. I feel like I should save it. I went to High Point Furniture Market today. Oh, is that going on right now, Candace? Candace, I'm so sorry I missed you on Friday. I really hate that. Candace is a parent of the school that's on the Innovative School District list. I have been trying, Candace, to get uh, under the radar news about the schools that are going to be on the list. But evidently, 
not even the school board knows. Because if the school board knew, I could find out. Would you be interested in my long haul collection? Cody, I might be. You could take pictures and send them to me. Five and six. Um, yes, now till Wednesday. <gasps> That's fun. You're there for three days. I can't record a razor. I'll start a fire with my thigh. Oh God, I had these corduroy shorts. They were OP. I mean, I love those shorts. Well, I found a pair recently. I was like, those things, I can get in those. It's like, they're yellow too. I mean, yellow corduroy is like, would just my favorite thing. If I can wear it, anyone can. <laughs> oh, anyway, that would be funny. Um, love seeing y'all. I wish I could see you. I keep losing you. What the? I don't know. I have good internet, I think. Maybe you don't. I used to love OP shirts. I don't think I have an OP shirt. If you ever go on eBay, you can eat up some time looking at old clothes. I'm sure Cody has done that since he likes John Johns. I mean, like old t-shirts. I will see you in November. Yay! I'm excited. You know, I'm going to be in um, Wilmington in the spring, too. St. Petersburg, Florida. Where else? Tampa. I think I'm in Tampa. Um, oh, I'm doing the Families Embracing Autism together. I did that last year. That's where I got all that good wine at Rosemont Vineyards. I don't know if it's at the same place. I think that's in, like, February. Lots of Lily Blitzer. Oh, Blair will wear the... What are y'all doing? OP jackets. Yes, I do remember. Um, that's about it. Once I do November, I'll have the women's conference in Winston at Salem. Or it's not at Salem, it's somewhere downtown. Then I'm not working till January. So, note to self. We're going to try to plan a little ski trip, like a driving ski trip, not a flying ski trip. Um, my son's turning 13, too. I'm trying to decide if I should get him a phone. He's sort of an entitled type. We don't want to encourage it. Can you read lips? I hope. Oh. I'd like to just give him a ski trip. So we could go anyway and call it a present. She's been wearing the same ones for three years. That's how Blair is. Yeah, so I've got this free ski trip in, um, to go to the homestead and then Wintergreen, both places. The homestead, I did an article for Carolina Parent that'll be in December's excursion issue. And those they like to have articles in magazines. I don't know why, but they really do. So anyway, we get to go. My 10-year-old's daughter's begging for a phone. My people have about given up. We have this one phone, you know, it's our family phone, and they all share it. And that's actually pretty good. My neck of the woods. Homestead is easy fun. I know. And Amos can go to the kids' club. Amos and skiing. It's not a good combo. Um, people that don't like to put on shoes are not good ski people. Right? My phone, my son is seven and wants a phone. I mean, anyway, Homestead and Wintergreen. Yes. Oh, those are both near you, Christy. Yeah, well, if you're near Richmond. Um, I love going to Charlottesville. We're closer to Virginia Mountains. Wintergreen is four hours from me. Your mountains, for us to go, are like six or seven. Um, anyway. Oh. I got to put up a story tonight. I can't decide what I should put it up about. I've got two I've written. One, like a Halloween -y one. Not Halloween -y, Halloween ish one. 40 minutes from Wintergreen. Or two, uh, an Amos one. Hmm. They're both sort of Amos. I have to ponder that. If sometimes if I write something ahead of time, then I'll save it. And I was putting stuff aside for my book for a while. Now I have it. Because I don't know why. I've been doing more researchy stuff, less Adrian writing. 
which is fine. Carry on, people. Y'all have a good night. And um, nobody told me when they want the next talk to be. I have to look at our soccer schedule. We have a game Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. In some two days. Everybody loves the Amos story. Okay, I'll do an Amos story. I've got a good one. Good night.